to the Desk of Lady Ada. Hey everybody, and uh, welcome to a little bit of a late night Desk of Lady Ada. It's me, Lady Ada, and this is my desk. And I'm uh, going to go over um, a quickie, basically, but I think a pretty good one. Um, but like, oh, you know, I lay out. That's why we have revisions. We uh, do multiple prototypes to get things right. But this one in particular is one that... Uh, Sadly, I've been bitten by before, so I thought maybe if I do a video about it, it won't happen to me again. Um, so the board I'm going to be um, testing out is a new feather wing I designed, and this is a non-latching relay feather wing. I'll also show the latching one because I think it's interesting, but um, it doesn't work. And uh, relays are pretty simple, so uh, what, what could have gone wrong? Uh, I double-checked my work, and yet uh, no success. So let's go through the uh, process. Um, for debugging this on my desk, and we'll we'll get right to it. So let's go to the uh, hover cam. So this is uh, uh, you know this is one of the boards that would drive this feather wing, and um, this is the uh, latching relay, so the uh, non-latching relay. So this has a little relay module on it, and this is a I think 250 volt AC or DC, and um, two amps max, which is actually quite a bit, like you can do uh, quite a bit with uh, two amps um, at full, uh, you know, uh, mains power. Um, and, you know, I've got the feather wing uh, plugged into a feather and the feather's plugged into USB. And then, uh, you know, I what I did is instead of having the uh, relay signal routed to one of the pins, because it's like you really want to make sure you have the pin you want connected, I just brought it out to a little pad here labeled signal. Hold on, let me lock. Okay. So a little pad here that says signal. So when this signal is pulled high, it uh, uh, connects this to this the base of this uh, NPN transistor, uh, which then grounds one of the pins. There's also a, 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 a flyback diode, and it grounds the negative pin of this relay. The positive pin is connected to 3.3 volts, and this is a 3 volt um, actuatable relay, so it should fire. So let's connect signal here. I'm just going to put a jumper wire, and you touch it to three volts, and you see the red LED light, but what you don't hear is a clicking sound. So I'll just up it next to my mic so you can hear that there is no click. No click. No click. Click? None. So the relay never actually fires. So, you know, I, I was like, okay, well, let's, you know, use a, a multimeter real fast and, um, you know, just check the continuity. I mean, is this relay even working at all? You know? Okay, so the co common and normally connected is connected, but the normally open never goes open. And then if I keep this tied here and then, hold on. You know, and then I was thinking like, okay, well, maybe... I have to jumper this to uh, five volts. Maybe there's a maybe this is actually not a three volt relay. Maybe, maybe I got the wrong one or made a mistake. So I try actuating it with USB, and the LED lights up, so I know that the signal is going through to the transistor. But I'm not getting that normally open connection closed. So yeah, there's this relay's not working. I'm like, uh, okay, so well, you know, as I said let's take a break and then maybe check out the um, other relay. So this is the latching relay, and latching relays are kind of neat. I rather like them because if you're dealing with stuff on battery power, you don't have to um, keep the relay powered all the time. You set it and unset it. So this is setting it. You can connect the set pin to three volts, and then you can connect the unset pin, and then this does make a ticking sound, and I'll hold it up so you can hear it. So this is me like turning it on and off, and you only have to um, you only have to touch it once to the set or unset pads, and it will latch in place. So it's kind of nice. And then we just have a little green or red LED to tell us that the signal was actually received. And and this one actually works. So you know if I um, grab my multimeter in continuity mode and. Uh, let's let's set it to uh, unset. Then the normally open is open. Oh. 
Let me hold on. Sorry. So it's connected and then disconnected. Hold on. I like three hands involved here. Okay, so the latching really works, but the non-latching really doesn't. And I'm like, okay, this is this is really annoying because you know there's a lot, not a lot going on in a relay, right? There's there's a little a coil magnet, and it you know moves an actuator, and I was like, okay, well you know maybe let me just check my schematic. So go to my computer, and I'm at my computer, and I'm like, okay, let's open up the uh, relay feather wing. And this is my layout, and you know, there's not a lot really going on here. Um, check the schematic real fast. You've got the signal going in by default. Uh, this the base is kind of pulled low. Um, when there's a high signal, um, this uh, this gets pulled high. This turns on. This brings this pin low and then this pin high, and then there's this, the, the flyback, and then there's an LED also to let you know that it's working, and it's supposed to work on three volts. And I was like, well, let me check my layout to make sure, okay, so we've got, this is a three volt line, and yes, it's going to three volts. And then this is ground, you know, that the, the will be grounded, and yes, that's going to ground. This trace is a little wonky, but that's fine. It is connected. And I was like, all right, well, let's, let's look at the data sheet. Okay, so. Part number is EE2 dash three NUH. And this relay that I got from DigiKey. So let's look at the data sheet. And I'm not going on. This actually has a data sheet, has the, the pinouts. So here you go. So you got the non latch type. I'm going to bring this over here. And then you see there's a positive here, and then I was like, is this, that's positive, and then this is the negative, and that, that's negative, and then this is the common, and then normally connected, and then normally open. I was like, okay, I really don't, I was like, ugh, like, just, I've spent a few minutes already, and I don't understand what's going on. And then I realized, I, I didn't notice that this was a bottom view pin configuration. And this has bit me before, and so I was like, no, bottom view. So. I don't know why some companies do this. I've seen chips that have bottom view pinouts and it drives me nuts because it's the opposite of the way when you actually make the object. The, these pins are actually all flipped because you're looking at it um, from the bottom of the component, not from the top of the component. So what I have to do now is open up the library object and this is called relay non-latching that's our relay ee2 non no latch and then yeah i got i got all these pin numbers wrong so i have to like fix them so this pin was I thought 12, but it's really one. So this one, I'm going to rename one prime. This one 12, and then I'll go back and rename this one one. This is three, but it's really 10. This is really nine. This is really eight. This is really five, four, three, and then you can go back and rename, take away the prime because it won't let you have two pins with the same name. And then you can go to relay non-latching and then when you do the connection, it will, it'll swap you, disconnect them, and then reconnect them. I'm not gonna change these because it's, it's just a switch and it's the same either way, like the it, it's like there's, this is just one or two switches. It doesn't matter what the orientation is. So save this. And if I did this right, then if I update the library, these two paths will, will flip. So yeah, now you can see that these are reversed. So 
It's okay. Learned learned your lesson. Um, and they're swapped. So we learned something today. Uh, watch out for bottom view or bottom orientation. Uh, it will trip you up, uh, as we've seen uh, once in a while. But just take a look. Especially, it'll, it'll be written in some small text anywhere. But it's, it's an important thing to learn. And, and um, for the three companies that have, have done this to me over like, the last few years, like, uh, please don't do bottom view. <laughs> But it happens. Um, but that's why you do prototypes and, and revision. So, you know, I could uh, manually um, try to fix the traces, but you know, I'm just going to do another prototype run, and I, I think this is fine. If I if I feel like it, maybe I'll flip around this so they don't have a trace going around. But I, I think that's fine. And then um, I also have to fix the latching one. What's interesting is that um, the latching one I also got backwards. But it doesn't seem to matter. Whatever the design is, it, it's uh, the way it works. It's uh, not um, relevant. Although I think maybe set and unset are are probably reversed if there's a, a polarity thing going on there. So, eh, lesson learned. Uh, but I thought it would be a good one to share. Uh, easy to fix. Do another revision, and uh, hopefully the second version will be 100%. All right, and thus concludes the Escalade Data. We'll probably be doing other broadcasts during the weekend, so. Keep an eye on Twitter for all the places like Meerkat and Periscope and Twitch and YouTube will be around. Discolady is supported by you, the customer, the viewer. Yeah, these prototypes aren't free, and I gotta gotta spend another thirty bucks on uh, prototype PCBs. Yeah, <laughs> and if fruit doesn't have loans or venture capital or investors, we just get by. No on, trust funds. Yeah, we just get by on. The fact that we make some stuff that people want to buy in the store. Yeah. So pick up a kit, electronics, and uh, tell your friends. Yeah, we'll have this. Uh, we'll have this soon as this. Um, we'll have this. Uh, I'll do another spin of the latching and non-latching relay feather wing, and then we'll get it in the store. And I think, and it'll be fun. People will like it. It'll be uh, useful for people doing Internet of Things projects. Um, be safe, of course, when using a relay. But uh, more important thing is we're going to get it done right. We've had, we've had up to revision code H. This is going to be revision B for the second one. We've had up to H or I. I think the, some of the Bluetooth stuff got up to the eight, eight revision mark. Okay. Happens. See you all in a few hours. Have a good weekend, guys. Folks. <laughs>